Hey, hey, Marty. Mmm, yum, yum. I can hardly wait to see if this creamy, dreamy angel smurf cake is as creamy and dreamy as I think it is. Uh-oh, sounds like an emergency. Smurf anymore. They threw me out of the village just because I have a new hat. I told you before, Vanity, that you must stop calling emergency assemblies for trivial reasons. Oh my, is that a wrinkle I see? Maybe that's why they don't like me anymore. You're just imagining things again. There's only one way to find out. I must gaze into the reflecting pool. It never lies. Vanity, wait! Have I really lost my good looks? Oh, what a tragedy. Excuse me, sir, but you're standing in my favorite spot. Who are you? I am Lofty, Elf Extraordinaire, and I come to this pool to reflect upon my future, my past, myself. I say, you are handsome. Mm, I used to be quite handsome myself, Elf. I've never seen such a marvel before, a reflection you can hold in your hand. Mm, it's called a mirror. With such a device, I wouldn't have to come here every time I wanted to admire myself. Oh, dear sir, I live far away, and ten trips a day is a bit too much. Wouldn't you please lend me your mirror? Never! Oh, I'd sooner have a new blemish than part with my mirror. Ah, I used to be a lot like you, just another face in the crowd. But then I took that magical bob bath and became the gorgeous elf that you see today. Really? Oh, I'd give anything if it could make me handsome again. How about your mirror? My mirror? Oh, oh I couldn't. Well, suit yourself, if you don't mind looking plain and ordinary. Oh, very well. Take it. Now, now, where is this magical bar? Just past Muddy Marsh in Creepy Deepy Swamp. <gasps> Creepy, deepy swamp. Oh, the thought of going there makes my skin crawl. But what choice have I? <laughs> Toodaloo! <laughs> Once he takes that bomb bath, everyone he meets will gasp at the sight of him. Just before they scream and run away! <laughs> to see if this bog bath really is magic. Oh, it's working. I can feel my skin tingling. I can't wait to show the others the new me. Vanity never came back for lunch. Maybe we should look for him. Personally, I'd rather look for him than at him. Well, take a look at the new Vanity. Ah! I know. You're speechless. Ah! Go ahead, tell the others. I'm going to get a mirror so we can all look at me together. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Rainy Smurfette, what's wrong? It's vanity. He has a terrible problem. <laughs> I know. It's just another one of his imaginary wrinkles. 
just like any other Smurf does. Good night to the Smurflings. They were the only ones who treated me Smurfly today. <laughs> Did you see his tongue and those feet? Yeah, but without those big feet, he couldn't hop around like this. Look, I'm a warmonger. I'm a warmonger. <laughs> Flappy, don't. Rainy was right. I'm not a Smurf. I'd be better off with my own kind. <laughs> I'm going to go live with the warfmongers. Now look what you've done. Vanity, wait. Yeah, we're sorry. We're in warfmongers. He's gone, and it's all our fault. Maybe we should tell Papa Smurf. We know, Sussex. Papa Smurf has been working hard and needs to sleep. Besides, think how upset he'd be if he learned how on Smurfy we turned to Vanity. Yeah, maybe we can bring Vanity back before Papa Smurf finds out. Good idea, Snappy. Come on, let's go. But Papa Smurf will know you're gone if you don't get back before breakfast. Don't worry. He'll be in his lab all day working on the anti wartmonger formula. Wait, what about the other Smurfs? You think it's something, Sassac? Yeah, how come we gotta come to Gooey Lagoon every time Bullrush wants wild pond scum? Yeah! Quiet, you warheads. Do you want to wait the Creepadile? Yeah! Uh, no! Yeah, has anyone ever seen the Creepadile? Of course not. It's been sleeping at the bottom of Gooey Lagoon since the beginning of the Mud Age. But according to legend, if the Creepadile ever wakes up, it won't rest until it eats a king. And you know who the nearest king is. Yeah. 
Yoo-hoo! Hello, fellow wartmongers! Hey, you, keep quiet. Oh, you know this is Gooey Lagoon? Well, it's certainly got an appropriate name. Yuck! Whoa! Help! Help! Keep your warts on. We're coming. Cool. Oh, thanks. Lucky for me, you were here. Lucky for you, you didn't wait to creep a dial. Creep a dial? What's that? I still don't understand. Why didn't it eat us? Maybe we don't look like kings. You're telling me. Just look at my clothes. Say, who are you and how come you're blue? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, my name is, uh, is Van Ribbity. Uh, I wandered away from the swamp as a baby. I mean, a tadpole. And grew up in a mountain lake of pure blue water. Yeah, pure water? Wow, you had it rough. Yeah! When King Bullrush learns that you woke the Creepadile, you'll wish you'd never retain. Arrest him! Oh, dear. Uh-oh. It looks like Vanity was joined by three beasties with the same kind of feet. Yikes! I'm beginning to wonder if this was such a smurfy idea. It was our fault Vanity ran away. It's up to us to find him and take him home. I hope nothing finds us and takes us home. When Papa Smurf finds out Nat and Snappy missed breakfast, he's going to hold me, Brainy Smurf, responsible. Don't worry, Brainy. You've never been responsible for anything. You're absolutely right, Slouchy. Now, I want you to find Nat and Snappy and have them report to my house for a severe scolding Brainy style. Now what do we do? Don't worry. I got an idea. Papa Smurf will be proud of the way I've handled the Smurflings. I'll be firm but fair, strict but lenient. In short, I'll be absolutely smurfly brilliant. I sure hope this works. Brainy will never see through these disguises. In fact, he'll never see them at all. That's odd. I thought I put my glasses right here. Uh, come in. Hi, Brainy. Slouchy said you wanted to see us. Yeah, what's Smurfing? Nah. Snappy, it was very naughty of you to miss breakfast. How do you expect to grow up like me if you don't eat right? Ouch! Gosh! We're sorry, Brainy. Yeah, we promise it won't happen again. Well, see that it doesn't. Oh! Say, these look like Brainy's glasses. Hey, Brainy, do these glasses belong to you? Well, how did they ever get... Well, uh, you know me. Gonna get stuffy. Bye! What was that all about? The creeper dial. I'm doomed. Doomed. But who could have awakened him, your incredible grossness? Let us in. Let us in. I'm hungry. I should have known those idiots were responsible for this. I'll have their wants. Hmm. I wonder who that blue fellow is. That hat he's wearing looks familiar. I wouldn't worry about hat slag. Because if you don't think of something quick, you won't have a hat to wear one on. But your excessiveness. The creeper dial won't go back to sleep until it has eaten a king. It's our oldest legend. It's a rotten legend. <laughs> Get this straight. You grew up far away from the swamp and never heard of the legend of the creeper dial. 
Well, yes, but I still don't know what's going on. Well, the legend states that whoever wakes the ancient Creepadile shall be made king of the Wartmongers. King of the Wartmongers? Yeah, but I thought the legend said that the Creepadile was supposed to eat the... Silence! Three cheers for the new king! Hip, hip! I can't hear you! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Isn't that just like me? I barely introduced myself, and before you know it, I'm king! Long live King Van Ribbity! Yay! Brilliant, your rotundity. Once we feed this new king to the Creepadile, the ancient curse will be broken. <laughs> then I'll be king again. Oh, no! They're gonna feed Vanity to that monster! Now, to get the new king and the old Creepadile together! But how are we gonna do that, your amplitude? Give me that slag! And now, for the second half of the litter! Oh, there's more? You must feed this magic bell to the Creepadile. It's the one thing that will make him go back to sleep. Once the Creepadile is gone, we can begin... <laughs> Your uh, coronation. Coronation? Oh, I've always wanted one of those. I'll just toss this bell from the suspension bridge, then we can get on with it. Oh, no, King Van Ribbity. The uh, <clears throat> proper protocol calls for you to float out onto the river in your coronation boat. Right? Yeah, yeah! Oh, yeah! Well, if you say so, after all, it is proper protocol. Well, of course it is. After you, my king. <laughs> oh, no. What do we do now? I finally found a cure for Vanity's condition. I'm sure he'll be delighted to be his old smurfy self again. I hope that Nat and Snappy get back soon. I don't know how long we can keep smurfing the wool over Brainy's eyes. <laughs> What's this about Nat and Snappy? What are you smurflings up to? We were just trying to help them, Papa Smurf. They went into the swamp after Vanity. Great Smurfs! They might all be in terrible danger. We must form a search party to go after them at once. Fear not, loyal subjects. I, King Van Ribbity, will save you from this menace. Hooray for King Van Ribbity! Hooray! Being a warmonger isn't so bad after all. Uh, show yourself, cowardly creepadile. Van Ribbity, King of the Warmongers, commands it. <laughs> What are you doing here? We came to warn you. You're being set up by King Bullrush. Yeah, you weren't made king because of your good looks. It was because the Creepadile only eats kings. Oh, no. Don't worry, Vanny. We got a plan. Take off your hat and cape and hurry. <laughs> it looks like the Creepadile is almost on top of them. <laughs> Damn. Don't fool that old Creepadile. There's only one thing left to do. What's that? Uh, yeah, I can't believe he ate the whole king. Yeah! Phew, that was close. I'll say, that creepy old creepy almost had us for dessert. You smirklings shouldn't have risked your lives just for me. Oh, gosh, Vanity. What's your friend's father? Yeah, Snappy. Thanks, Smurfness, you're safe. We've looked everywhere for you. Baba Smurf! And you too, Vanity. I finally smurfed the cure for you. Really? I just hope it works. Yeah, what are we going to do without a king? <laughs> As your humble servant, I would be more than willing to resume the burden of being king. Unless, of course, someone has an objection. Yeah, well, I do. Whoa! Quiet, you warhead. 
Three cheers for King Bullrush. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Ah, that's more like it. But are you sure I look smurfy again? We already told you you do. Yeah, 97 times. Wailing whales. I think you look smurfier than ever, Vanity. Really? Oh, then I'd better call an emergency assembly so the others can see how wonderful I look. Oh, no! <laughs> and in conclusion, my fellow Smurfs, I've learned that life is what you make it. But it helps if you're just naturally good-looking. Can't you do something about him, Papa Smurf? I'm afraid not. You see, Hefty, the more some Smurfs change... Mm -hmm. <laughs> the more they stay the same.